Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> we are back. Uh, trying to think of where we were. I think we had made the decision to go ahead and go back to Virgil. And, um... I think he has like the plans for the teleporter. So let's get in our suit. Oh, that means I need to get all my fusion cores. Or my help too, anyway. Uh, which one's my ammo? I think this is ammo. This is ammo. Got a hundred fusion cores on me, doesn't weigh a thing. Alright. Is there anything else in my inventory that I need to get rid of here? I kinda wish that when they when they made this they had in like a kinda like how they have in um Baldur's Gate 3, like all these keys that I've collected, do I need to have them all listed like this? Or is there a way to get rid of them? Um, why not just have one more, one more tab for just keys? Or put it in the data, you know, put it keys here. They don't weigh anything, so there's no real reason to, you know, list them. find the man. Man who lives beyond the borders of the the map. Nope, we are going to Virgil Sanctuary. We are not dealing with that. for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. Huh. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or 
advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Take this thing down. Let's talk to the Minutemen. I think we also need to make another bed, too. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we built enough, enough beds to cover everybody. Yeah, we got enough beds. We're all right. I know. We figure out how to. General. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? Hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build a fix. figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Huh. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-institute scientist. Seriously? 
I didn't know you could be an ex-institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals. But it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. I wish I'd get my script. Nothing stays hidden forever.
think I'm gonna leave my suit here. There's not gonna be anybody to fight. Jack of all trades, aren't you? If I remember right, the uh, the institute has some pretty gnarly stuff. Uh, what's my? I don't think it's aid that I. Oh, I guess there is death claw meat. Be miscellaneous. Or to be junk. Junk. Too. Why do I have so many tin cans? That's weird. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I don't blame you. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay, scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF, and got it. Hold on to your butt. about the cabin. We'll take anything we can get. Don't know if we're going to come back here or not. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. Useless. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator.
I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean! I'm your father! Talk to me! Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? Sixty years. That is the reality. And here I am. 
raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. <clears throat> Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The uh -huh. Institute took advantage of Kellogg's... Sketchy. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any <coughs> normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. 
It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. I've lived my life within these walls. Huh. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than any above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Busted. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. It seems like a strange choice, I, on more than one level. I can understand how it might seem that way. It was, it is something new. New discoveries are always welcome. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is... I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help... <clears throat> Alright, this is the part where we rob everybody blind. Yay! Undamaged camera, pen, pencil. That's what we got back here. Anything good? 
technical documents. I mean, as much as I'm not trying to help the... <sighs> Brotherhood anymore. Take the stim pack. Way of the future, but they still use stim packs. Folder, folder, folder. Hyperbaric chamber. Interesting. Yeah, sure. Oh, yep. TV lab. So if you don't know what FEV stands for, it's forced evolutionary vaccine. Don't I have the director code? Yeah. Oh well. Don't care so much about the uh what you call it, the uh Sir, I was issued a defective cleansing unit. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Yes, sir. Spend enough time here, and you'll be sick to death of the word synth. I certainly am. Hi, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed with replacing people with machines. I've been saying for years that we're too reliant on these synths. But nobody wants to listen. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around. Right, that bed is owned. Why is everything taken apart in here? There's a lot of hubris around here lately. 
I don't care for it. Huh. Indeed. <clears throat> it's an honor to have you here, sir. to the Institute, sir. Yeah, thanks. Another gigantic rim. Somebody important lives here. I think this is. Yeah, we've been here. I wish you could have known father as we have. Yeah. I have no doubt about that. We're just looting right now in the Institute. Okay, so I wasn't losing my mind. That thing is doing circles. Oh, so many domiciles to rob. up looting. These apartments are freaking huge though. Jeez. Yeah, we'll leave him alone. I could wake him up and talk to him, but that doesn't make any sense either. Yep, I'll take that from you. It's nuclear material. I just used a ton of to get here. Really hard to get that stuff. Synth retention and robotics. Good to see you. software do so after this meeting the last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls all right that's all for now assume your duties you know i love my work but i love being a father even more. remember health and happiness go yeah. hand in hand it's a real juggling act trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green this place might look shiny and new but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. I lose sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. Looks like everything's running great. I'd say you're doing your job. Hey, thanks. It's nice to be appreciated. Most people just take my work for granted. It's the kind of work that only gets noticed when something goes wrong. If you know what I mean. Now that there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around. It was probably just a 
You're here. Glad you made it. If it were just a limb twitching, perhaps. But her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what you're all looking forward to. If you're that. about to launch into one of your passionate speeches about artificial symptoms and machines with souls, don't bother. I've heard enough of them by now. And I can write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines, so we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. Lene, you know what the fuck I'm telling you. Just a moment. I never said that. I'm, I'm simply trying to man. open everyone's you eyes to new hard. possibilities. Well, it's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. You do well to remember that. The synths are treating you well, I hope. With our third generation synths. We can call them what you Doctor. You've arrived at a momentous time. Our third generation synths are a true breakthrough. The culmination of centuries of research. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. What makes them superior? The list of improvements is exhaustive. I can talk for an hour and still not cover all of it. Imagine what you could accomplish if you could live without fear of hunger or disease. Imagine what you could create if you could spend every waking moment of your life as you saw fit. With no need of sleep, and like I said, a momentous time. Yeah. Max, all our divisions are important. And I tend to think of robotics as the first of our equals. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Feels like this project has been going on for months. Today is full of possibilities. Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, it's you. Welcome. You're finally with us. I'd just like to apologize for any trouble our synths may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity. And they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests. Most of which I designed myself. Uh, not to make problems for you, though. I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? I'm thinking it over. Well, I hope you do decide to stay. It would mean a great deal to Sean. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. Hey, Doc. We're quite fortunate to have the synths to aid us. Yeah, that is the way I came in. The place is creepy as hell. Basically weaving muscle onto the... Interesting. Weird. Gross. But interesting. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive Hi, Doc. servo. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? 
I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of Greetings. them have long past the Institute's institute's requisition center. I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. Again, How may I assist you today? Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Uh, <clears throat> you are authorized to access my stock of supplies. I've got a few minutes to browse. Think of three grand. Holy cow!
No, oh, come on. Got it. All right, yeah, let's go take care of Virgil real quick. I get it. You don't want me here. Jeez, bro. Perimeter movement detected. Screw it, yeah, we'll take the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I remember now.
these were once human. what we came for. Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out. That's the one thing Please we don't, don't need. Get any germs on me. Hey. Well, you're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Food products are available for purchase. Would you care for some? I'll take a look, sure. I might just have enough to get through all the systems. Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Hi. Yeah? Hey. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less animated pursuits. Well... Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. 
I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Safety first. Remember that. Hey, Doc. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. Words any former soldier can appreciate. A man who understands the need for discipline will be a valuable addition here. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Sounds good. Take care, then. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here, then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. get the impression you don't want me here. What I want in this case is largely irrelevant. Father gave his orders. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Dr. Lee. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Dr. Lee. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um... How to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Dr. Lee, I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Father has accomplished so much. I hope you can... start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Now 
There. All done. You can return to your duties. And remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm-hmm. I have to admit, the third generation sense are really something. It must make you proud to see all hey your father has Once done. Once you've settled in, all I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. After what I've been through, a checkup is probably a good idea. I should think so. Who knows what you might have been exposed to up there. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself, so I don't have to. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. It's an honor to meet you, sir. People on the surface have got it pretty bad. Makes me thankful for being down here. Hey, Doc. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you come to think of the Institute as your home. It'll take some time, but I could learn to like it here. I'm so glad to hear you say so, and promise I'll work hard to make sure that you do. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Operating at full capacity. Seriously, they're heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. What now? They're dragging the father's their a great man. You must be very proud. Maybe I should take some courses Child with Child sin. It's just mm -hmm. remarkable. Report anything Enough suspicious to the SRP. Between us and pretty much all the other departments. You're going soft on me? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. <clears throat> I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. What's Justin doing that's causing friction? Oh, he's just pushy and demanding. He thinks his problem should be everyone's biggest concern. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Oh, just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. In any case, it was good to meet you. Constant vigilance is vital in preventing synth escapes. Hi, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? 
That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough probes. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising mm, the Zimmer. retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. Smell like you've been above ground. Okay, well, well I think that this is a good place to stop. Subject identified. And I think we'll save it right here. Um, right in the middle of the Institute. Good safe place to do that. Kinda. Alright, well with that being said, I'm going to go do some adulting and I will be back probably this afternoon to do some more gaming. Um, can't recall what's up next, but something good, I'd hope. Um, that being said, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and we will see you soon. Take care.